All right, today on Repairs 101, I'm gonna show you a product that easily removes scuffs and smudges from your car's painted body panels. And how to chase out dents and make them disappear using Bondo Body Filler and Spot Putty from our sponsor, Princess Auto. My friend Lizzie has the exact same car as mine. When she asked if I could help her out with the dent that she had in the hood, I said I'd be happy to, just like I helped out all these other friends of mine with their projects. Did you know that you can remove scuffs and paint transfers with rubbing compound? She parks on a really busy street and her car has been battered from every angle, including this humdinger of a dent. So I found a paint pen and some cans with Toyota Classic Silver Mica in it. And I sat about touching up all these black scars. Rubbing compound is a gritty paste used to sand off small imperfections in your paint without destroying the finish. Just rub it in until the marks disappear and then wash it off with water. So you want to find an access hole near the damage and find something to pry it up that fits through. Hammer the high points to release the tension and pry the dent up as best you can. A little light hammering may help with the creases. See my backyard paint booth video for instructions as to how to set up an inexpensive spray booth. I use 60 grit to break the paint and expose the wound. Then I use this homemade scraper to dig at the crevice. And a rotary stone on my cordless drill to eliminate any rust. I sanded my first layer of Bondo with 320 grit. It had these air holes in it, so I filled them with spot putty, sanded, and laid up another layer.
It started to rain, so I quickly put some primer down to protect my work overnight. The next day I sanded it down with 320 grit and mixed up another batch of Bondo. This time I held the plastic spreader curved to allow it to follow the contour of the hood. After another sanding, I stirred up another smidge of spot putty and filled the tiny air holes. Once again, it started to rain, so I primed it and called it a night. After sanding that layer of primer with 600 grit, I hit it with a few coats of 1F7 Toyota Classic Silver Mica. Taking time to dry in between coats. Whipping or stirring body filler vigorously introduces air bubbles that you will just have to fill and sand later. Sand contours by pulling towards the center from the outside edges. Wipe the nozzle on your spray paint cans frequently to avoid sputtering. So, because our dogs are friends, I cleaned out the inside of her car, washed her windows, and shampooed the driver's seat. Then I topped up her tires and put it all back together again. Far from a perfect job, but done at no cost to the owner. So, for the record, Repairs 101 was never supposed to be like this, with me pretending to be some kind of uber know-it-all. I wanted to be able to hire professionals to show you how they did their jobs, but the show never generated enough income to justify hiring experts. So, you know, here we are.